So, so we have Raphael here. He's our, he's my subs. He's my, um, he's our guest driver. He uh, enjoys driving the car, and he can do things that I just can't do right now because it would, because I don't really want my lawyer to have to stand in front of a judge and explain how I got a second ticket for him. Maserati uh, guys well we can't name the guy's plate no degree wasn't it and and he's a pussy okay if you're out there no degree you're a pussy okay because he did not because he did not react at all to uh, Raphael's expert provocations <laughs> you, you were you were provoking him yes oh, yeah. Yeah. so since the the last uh, video that we did I uh, Trump got elected. Yay! And um, we're sort of dealing with that. Raphael got accepted into medical school. It's a pura vida. Wait, it's pura vida? Pura vida. P pura vida. That's pure the life? life. Pura. Oh, pure life. I'm sorry. Pura vida. So it's pure life, otherwise known as Costa Rica. Yeah, so you, you're. Um, Going there with a friend of yours, yep. and, I set this and, uh, and they're gonna share 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 a place in Costa Rica, and the weather's nice, and wherever you are, it is it is nice. They're gonna, they're, your, your weather is nice. Very nice. And so, it, it might be okay. What, what do you what do you think, Rafael? Now, Rafael Rafael's been has been deployed in uh, Afghanistan. Yes. And, did you go to Iraq also? No. Afghanistan. So you don't miss it. You don't miss the fact that you didn't go to Iraq, did you? Absolutely not. But Afghanistan is still kind of rough. Well, Most well, talking well. over the last couple of days uh, over the uh, the the, uh, the fact that the Russians hacked the uh, election, and by hacked, I mean John Podesta, like is such an idiot. John, thank you, John, that he clicked on a link in an email. All right, come on. Everybody knows not to do that. Listen, here, here's a clue. Do not click in a link in an email. Never. Can you think of a reason to do that? The answer is no. Oh. Unless you're a dumb shit. Okay, and basically because John Podesta <laughs> clicked clicked on a, and said it said uh, Gmail change change change. Uh, your, your Gmail account has been compromised. You need to, ch to change your password. Here, here's a convenient link to do so, right? So you, you, you type in your old password, done. So now they have your password. They sucked all the emails out and, they, and, and all this terrible stuff came out, private conversations. Whoa, what? what you, oh, what are you talking about? Look who's uh, next to us. You mean asshole? No degree. No degree. <laughs> Ouch. That's a little bit of torque, my friends. Did you see my head bounce backwards? So, 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 um, I can't do that anymore. I drive slowly now. So, um, so yeah. So, so, so Hillary lost, you know, but Hillary also made a lot of mistakes. She, first of all, she does, she's not a very good politician. She's just not very, she's not warm and cuddly, okay? Uh, uh, um, Obama, you want to invite over to your house, you want to meet his kids, you'd love to talk to his wife, have dinner, have a couple of beers. Um, Hillary, not so much, right? But if you have a brain, you would realize that um, Trump is a complete moron, okay? Yeah, he, he, he relates to the, uh, the rural white male with no college degree who was middle class through the 80s, 90s, 
and um, you know basically hasn't seen any kind of a raise in 30 years and back when I was a kid in the 70s and when I mean kid I mean teenager in the 70s or it's like I, I, I was born in the 60s and and uh, saw some amazing things but well you know when, when I was a uh, of nine I saw a moon landing I mean stuff like that back yes America was great is great we are a great country okay but um, but we but the middle class has been left behind they they they, they have uh, when I was in you know a teenager my dad uh, who had an eighth as an eighth grade education he, he um, was a waiter at a very nice restaurant in the 80s back in the in, in, on Miami Beach back in the in the cocaine cowboy days meaning there was a lot of cash flowing around and, and, and at a really nice restaurants uh, you know people would buy a couple hundred dollar bottle of wine not even think about it so so that's how I got to uh, my dad put me through college um, but we felt well off we owned a house we you know it's like we had, uh, my we had cars uh, I had a car when I was a kid it's like a teenager it's like we, we we, we were we were doing well American dream kind of stuff but the, the the wages have been flat all the way until now Bill Clinton it's like Bill Clinton was presided over a really great economy but the, the it was based on a tech bubble okay but it was the banks that took advantage of the rules the banks weren't calling to find out whether or not um, uh, People that were actually making the money they said they were. You'd say, oh yeah, I'm making $100,000. It's like they're what? And they were making like $30,000. And they would buy houses and it, with the idea that they, that they would hold on to it, the house would appreciate, they'd flip the house, make $100,000, put it in the bank. I mean, except the housing bubble blew. And then the market crashed. And and uh, and then and then that was the gift that, uh, uh, George W. Bush gave to Barack Obama. So Barack Obama basically like dug us out of that hole, you know, and didn't start any new wars. Did he start any new wars on your? No, he didn't start any new wars. So he had to finish his work in Afghan, you know, in Afghanistan, which we tried to. He, he had to finish his work in Iraq, and, and we had an, and an agreement that George W. Bush, uh, uh, the uh, uh, standard, the uh, status of forces agreement. Uh, in, in Iraq, which which basically the Iraq government wanted us to leave, so it's their freaking country. Hello, so we left, and everyone said, "Oh, we should have renegotiated that." The biggest sticking point was is that they would not that the Iraq government would not give immunity to uh, American soldiers in Iraq. So as a result, American soldiers would have been responsible in Iraqi court for anything that went wrong, okay? So, you know, so Sharia law, hello, all right? So do we subject our, uh, our, our soldiers to the whims of the locals? Barack said, eh, we're out, right? He was, he was elected twice because he said he wasn't gonna start any new wars, and he didn't. And then, and then he, then he, uh, he uh, negotiates the Iran, Iran deal. Okay, this is the next place our friend Raphael was going to be going. He was going to be j jump, jump in his soldier suit, grab his. What did you do again? Bombs. Bombs. He was going to be defusing. He was the guy who defused bombs. Okay, so uh, I don't mind if he drives my Corvette because pretty much I have faith in a guy that can. Disarm bombs can drive my Corvette. So he was going to be part of the invasion of Iran, which would not have been a fun deal because Iran's a real freaking army. Okay, those guys are, you know, that would have been a war, a real war. Real war. Be because we won't, we won't talk about the Afghan. We won't talk about the Afghans. We won't talk about the Afghans uh, or the Iraqis. We won't. But 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 the but the Iranians, those guys are serious. Beer, that's a beer. See <laughs> his smile on his face. He loved it. So so um, and of course Republicans. Oh, that's a terrible deal. It's a terrible deal. So one of the things that liberal uh, like. Um, It's a Harley, so it's not a terrorist. This guy's got a full 
mask on. He looks like he's about to suicide bomb his way, but he's got a hot chick on the back, and uh, I don't think he wants to die. Well, they don't have helmets on, so maybe they do want to die. <laughs> Okay. This is a ricer. Okay. This fucking guy. 